Hello friends. Today we are going to see how to create a custom data annotation validation attribute in MVC3. Now, what is custom validation attribute? Now we know about data annotation attributes. Uh, these are inbuilt attributes which we can use for client as well as server validations. Now, similar to these data annotation attributes, we can create our own custom attributes for client validation. Now, to create custom validation attribute, we need to inherit validation attribute class. We need to override is valid method of validation attribute class. And by creating custom logic for validation attribute, we can create attributes which will work and check conditions the way we want. Now, leveraging the facilities provided by validation attribute class, we can override the isValid method of this class and we can perform the operations on the input provided by the user and we can accordingly return back the errors if the input is not proper. So, in order to see through the code, we need to have a form and in that form by that form we'll pose the data and we'll check client side whether the data is proper or the input is proper or not using data annotation attributes and we'll also see how to create custom validation attribute so let's open the solution first now i have a register class that is the model class controller and the view ready that is a form ready so let's see run and see the application first a basic form is ready so if i submit it so it gives gives an error the first name field is mandatory the age field is mandatory now it basically gives error because we are using a data annotation attribute for the first name that is required and at the controller level we are checking whether a model state is valid or not as per the data annotation attributes and we are returning the same view if it is not valid and we are returning the model object and the errors filled in the model state so now let's see how to create custom attribute we are removing this required attribute and now we will create our own custom data data annotation attribute and use for the first name so first we'll create a new folder we name it as validators and we add a class we are creating it for first name so we say first name validator so our class is ready now as we are using data annotation attributes or properties of data annotation class so we are going to add reference of that we say system dot component model dot data annotations now as shown earlier we need to inherit validation attribute class which allow us to create the custom data annotation attribute and this validation attribute class has a is valid method which takes two parameter the value which is the value provided by the user from the form from the form and a validation context object which contains information about that member about that field and this method returns a validation result which basically returns the success that is validation dot validation result dot success or it returns an error message so and it's a virtual method so let's see how we can use this features so we have inherited the validation attributes so now we are going to 
override the virtual method we say public override and we are going to return validation result and say is valid method so this is the basic method and to use this first name validator we have to include this namespace in our register class so we include this in our register class as soon as you include this you can use the first name validator in the same manner we use other data, data annotation attributes so you can say first name validator now whenever the form is submitted and as soon as we pass a register object to this welcome method and as in the register class we have applied a first name validator attribute so this class will be called and this method will be called and let's see what value we get in the first parameter so let's run the application and check So this is a form submit the form now the is valid method is called and if we see if we check the value it is null currently because we have not entered any value in the first name so let's return the application so currently it will throw error because we have not handled anything and we say back and if we give any name say Fabregas so what you will see is we get the value here and in the validation context you get information about the member information about the property on which this attribute is being used so it says display name first name member name object type and all so this way the users value reaches the is valid method so now let's try and process this value and accordingly return the validation errors now the basic validation is to check whether the value is null or not whether your user provided the value or not so our first check would be if value If value is not null then we'll do the other operations else what we can say is return new validation result saying the error we can say first name dot mandatory and in this we need to return something uh, we return validation for now we return validation result dot success and let's try a single scenario for the value null let's run the application So if we give any value in the first name, we submit it, we get a value in this that is DSDSC. So if you debug it in debug it in C, then it will result the success. 
so it won't throw any error at the model level so it will return the welcome page if we go back and if I don't put any value here in the first name and I submit the form then I get a null value here so it goes to the else part it returns a validation result with an error so model status not valid it returns the same view and it says first name is mandatory so basically this is our first or the basic validation that is checking the null value now in the property such as first name or last name we can check whether the number of letters are desired in number or suppose we want to have first name between 6 and 30 letters or anything 20 and 30 letters so we can check that as well so let's declare a private variable we say max length say max length is 20 now we are going to perform this validation inside if condition when the user has given some value so inside that we say we are going to convert this value to string value from that is object to string so we say string user first name value dot to string so we got the string value now we are going to check the length of the first name provided by the user so if say we can put a if check we say if user first name dot count is greater than max length If it is greater than max length then we are going to throw an error saying first name cannot exceed 20 letters and in the else part we will return validation result dot success I mean if it is less than 20 letters then it's a success so let's try and okay we are missing a semicolon okay here so let's try this scenario we run the application So we give name as Fabricas Submit the form We get the value as form Fabricas We enter into if, if loop We convert it into string the first name And we check We check basically the count is greater than max length. No, it's not. So it says it's a success. So at the controller level, the model state is valid and it will return the welcome message. Now, if we give a first name, say uh, 
more than 20 letters and we try to submit the form now in the if block it says yes it's greater than max length and it gives the first name count exceed 20 letters model state is not valid it returns the error and the view it says first name cannot exceed 20 letters so this is the second scenario we have tested so by this way we can mount n number of conditions whatever conditions we want to check in this attribute and we can return the validation message accordingly and by this way we can use the custom attribute and by this way we can create our custom validation attribute and use at the controller level model level and we can assign the attribute or custom validation attribute by the same way we used to assign the other data annotation attributes so this is uh, the way we can create the custom validation attribute so this fulfills our agenda it is custom data annotation validation attribute in MVC3 phaser thank you friends